If you guys want to know everything about the guide NPC here, stay tuned to this video. What is going on guys and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to get the guide to move in to a housing space and everything the guide is useful for. So guys first off when you load up your world you will automatically have a guide in your world until you kill the wall of flesh. Dropping the guide voodoo doll in the lava will summon the wall of flesh and then you will have to wait for a new guide to spawn. If you need a guide on how to kill the wall of flesh, check out my video in the top right here. There will be a card for you to click and let's move on with the NPC tutorial. Okay guys, so the guide is the first NPC a player encounters. He provides tips mainly aimed at new players and displays possible crafting recipes. This is what the guide is used for and I will show you right now. Um, so if you right click here on the guide or press circle on console you can click help and he will give you various tips make sure to smash any demon altar you can find something good is bound to happen if you do smashing a demon altar will bless your world with different types of ores after going into hard mode souls can sometimes be gathered from fallen creatures in places of extreme light or dark this is talking about farming souls of light and souls of night in the corruption and hollow next guys the amazing feature of the guide which I absolutely love is the crafting recipe feature. In this feature you can grab any item and find out what it is crafted in. It'll show you all of the ingredients needed so if you have an item and you think it's part of a crafting recipe throw it into the crafting recipe guide and it will tell you what it is used in. In this example I can craft the papyrus scarab with a necromantic scroll and a hercules beetle. This is what the guide is used for. Now guys, for all NPCs, you are going to need a housing that has 10 tiles wide, 4 tiles high. The housing must have walls on all sides. This means that it must be completely enclosed with no holes in the walls, and it must also have background walls in the room. The other things you need for a valid housing is a table, chair, light source which could be a torch or a chandelier whatever you choose and then it must be free of corruption you can move npcs into the hollowed biome but not the corruption biome so guys that was my short little guide on the guide npc um he isn't too hard to move in he's pretty much the basic npc that you get right off the bat i uh, hope this was helpful to you guys in learning that he can help you craft stuff um you do need a valid housing space for him to move back in after the wall of flesh. Hope you guys enjoyed this short little video on the guide, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.